So the initial idea behind Fuse as a product was to solve what we believe is a really worthy business problem, which is how do you digitize the knowledge of the best expertise, the tacit knowledge that sits in the head of the best individuals in an organization um, and make that knowledge available to everyone with the idea that everyone is able then to learn and perform closer to the level of the highest performers in any role across the organization. The, the first part of the story for us actually was our, our content uh, creation process, our production process, which similar to this interaction we're doing now, which was to find the person who's most passionate, most knowledgeable on a given area, and then to interview them, capture that knowledge, and then turn into you know, a piece of content, which we pioneered obviously with Fuse School, our charity, which now has a thousand animated videos covering all the maths and science, uh, and 10 million kids across the world loving the accessibility of that great knowledge. So. The Few School journey, adventure, taught us the value of capturing the best experts and making that available to people that need it. Our creative team now do the same and have been doing the same over the years for some of the biggest brands in the world, for Dropbox and GSK, Merck and Vodafone, where they're both creating the content and teaching them how to bottle the greatness of their best people, making that amazing tacit knowledge, the expertise that makes those individuals the best at what they do, and making that knowledge available to everyone at any moment, and also immortalizing those experts across time and space. The second part then was actually the platform. So in a corporate way, how do we now take that idea of digitizing great knowledge and make that available to everyone. So that was a birth of Fuse, the platform. Uh, and the platform initially was the idea of YouTube and LinkedIn together. YouTube to provide uh, instant access to get that content and mass global distribution towards that. But at the same time, also bringing in some of that social peer-to-peer -peer functionality as well. And then the evolution of that journey was saying it's great that we're now capturing this, this great knowledge from top down, but we also want to introduce the ability for the whole crowd to create their own knowledge. So we introduced real peer-to-peer, user-generated content so people can click a button and fuse, record a video, upload something from the mobile phone, and that was a, that was a great and amazing revolution from that. But then also we wanted to recognize that there is a time for structure. There is a time for onboarding when we need to make sure that everyone's got that foundation knowledge, that one-on-one. So how do I get the best knowledge from the expert, but put that into a series of content that everyone can learn and understand in a, in a really structured way. And that born all of our, I guess, more traditional learning management functionality of learning plans and topics and events and assessments, uh, which our clients use you know, across the world. Uh, but then also we also recognize that just understanding something doesn't mean I can do it. So we need a different set of tools in Fuse to facilitate the transfer for some of that knowledge to go into new habits and new behaviors. Um, so we introduce things like observations, coaching, community-based coaching, so the ability to really allow you to practice in a safe space to make that transfer. Then we also recognize that we want to, we know instinctively this works, but we need data. So universal analytics allowed us to uh, introduce uh, a most advanced analytics tool to allow us to really work with our clients to understand the impact of this approach to learning and to allow us to have amazing case studies where we're able to prove increased NPS scores, increased revenue scores, work out which piece of the process works best and do more of that and less of the stuff that doesn't work. So analytics was huge for us. But now this final piece, uh, when I say final piece, it's, it's the final piece of this first part of the journey, uh, which allows us to create this picture um, that we've had in our head for a number of years. It's the introduction of knowledge intelligence and fused flow. Now, this to us it is, I think for many people, will be seen as magic. So this is a part where the technology is now able to understand all of the knowledge that exists in an organization, the tacit knowledge and the explicit knowledge, and even the external knowledge, and bring that together into a corporate brain. And then Fuse Flow is this amazing capability to be able to predict the, the thing you need, the knowledge you need, the tacit knowledge you need inside that moment to allow you to perform at best practice. So you don't need to retain and absorb everything. You now have the same type of access that you believe you have with Google in your private life and accessing all of the world of Google. This now brings to us that same capability um, for our corporate learners and for us, completes the, the picture we've been building and the journey we've been on.